Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 15.6 battery life and performance it's been quite a few days I have been using iOS 15.6 on my iPhone 13 so as you can see this is an iPhone 13 and I've been running this iOS 15.6 for now a couple of days so in this video let's talk about the battery life and performance battery life and the performance are the main factors for which people actually wait for a new iOS updates right so in this video let's talk about the battery life and performance of ios 15.6 so without further ado let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first ios 15.6 came in about 555.6 mb on my iphone 13 so the size would vary on device to device so i have been using using iPhone 13 so if you have a different device other than iPhone 13 the update size would vary for you so without further wasting any time first let me go to the general and about section as you can see the new build number is 19g71 and also this iOS 15.6 update contains a new modem firmware update so the new modem firmware version is 1.70.01 so if you have been facing a lot of connectivity issues switching between 3g and 4g then you would probably want to update to iOS 15.6 as this would actually resolve your iPhone network issues now talking about the battery life let me go to the settings and let me click on battery and once I click on the battery let the craft load in the meantime will click on battery health so I've been using this iPhone 13 now for like you know one and a half months so the battery life is 100% of course it is supposed to be so after updating to iOS 15.6 from iOS 15.5 the battery life or the battery health you should say hasn't dropped by one percent even so that's a good sign now talking about the battery life as you can see the graph is in front of you so this is for last 24 hours as you can see for last 24 hours the screen on time is 5 or 20 minutes and screen off time is 16 minutes and these are the applications that i have been using now if i take a look at last 10 days as you can see so the average screen on time for last 10 days is 5 hour 56 minutes and the average screen off time is 38 minutes and these are the applications that have been you know taking most of my battery life so let's take a closer look if i talk about yesterday for yesterday i have used my device at close to 80 percent and for that i have gotten a screen on time of five hours so that means if i would have used my device till 100 percent i would have closely gotten a screen on time about seven to eight hours which is actually good for a device like iphone 13. so if you are on ios 15.6 then the battery life should not be an issue and these are the last updates of ios 15 guys so this should be nothing but stable so the battery life in short is good so let me know in the comment section if you are using ios 15.6 how is the battery life for you and in general the performances are really good on my iPhone 13 there is no major issues I know people are waiting for Geekbench 5 so let me open that just before recording this video I have run the Geekbench 5 score as you can see from the screen itself the single course came in about 1611 and the multi-core score came in about 4360 so i know this benchmarking scores doesn't matter a lot to me but you know people actually ask for geekbench 5 scores so then i tend to you know show this geekbench 5 scores on every video so in general performance is really good there is no issue with the performance one more thing i would like to emphasize on is regarding the iphone storage so if i click on general and if i click on iphone storage so people have been facing this iphone storage issue wherein you have iphone storage but if you just go down there are two things one is ios data and another is system data so as you can see from the screen itself so as of now it is taking 12.76 gb but this is variable so uh, just you know recording this video before that it was some what about 10.56 gb now it has been increased to 12 gb so i would say don't worry about this too much rather let this be on ios will manage itself 
but what was happening for a lot of people since the storage was available after updating some people were facing like iPhone is running out of storage and stuff like that but at least with iOS 15.6 I don't see that issue on my iPhone 13 so it should be resolved for most of the people but then again let me know that in the comment section below if you are facing any issues regarding the iPhone storage on your iPhone if you are on iOS 15.6 one more thing people talk a lot is regarding the heating issue so i have talked about this many a times that if you are living in a country like india and if you are facing heating issues in summer times that's pretty obvious and you know for me personally i don't play games on my iphones i just use it for office purpose video calls calls and like uh, you know general stuff so my iphone don't get heated up a lot but if you are facing this you know hitting issues on your iphone i would say you know try to use your iphone without the covers like i am doing at least if you are charging your iphone for that time so it would give you at least some kind of resolution so then again with the help of this video i just wanted to talk about the battery life and performance of ios 15.6 the update is really good not only it includes you know some of the security features it also includes some of the new features which i talked about on my ios 15.6 video till now if you haven't checked out my ios 15.6 video so do check out that video you will be able to find that on on my youtube channel so do check out my ios 15.6 video let me know in the comment section below whether you have updated to ios 15.6 or not and that's it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to this channel because this gives me a lot of motivation to put out more content like this and i will see you on my next video bye bye